Hi everyone, this is Philip, and today we're releasing a new version. And this is the first time we're going to do it, but we're probably going to do it now for each major release, a changelog video, which can explain the change we're making and the new features we are introducing. This is for you to be in a better place to judge if you do want to use that new features or to help you understand the change we're making to the application and hopefully for you to get a better experience. So for this new version, the first big features is the Salesforce integration. To add the integration, click your name, settings, and then select integration, and then click add an integration and search for Salesforce. And you simply click add to missive. You're going to be able to create contact or lead associated with an email conversation or SMS conversation. You're going to be able to create opportunity, task, notes, and even log email directly from Missive and link them to either an opportunity or an account in Salesforce. Now, something I'm really glad is out is we made the distinction between the archiving action more important. It used that this icon at the top could either archive if you were in your inbox, could remove from your draft folder if you were in your draft folder, or could remove from a label if you were selected in a label. Now this icon pretty much mean archive from your inbox. And we've introduced new icons. So if you're in a draft and you want to remove a draft, well, it's an icon just for the draft folder. And if you're in a label and you want to remove from the label, you have a dedicated label. When you are in a team inbox and you select a conversation, you see it's the same archiving icon because you archive from an inbox. In that case, it's the team inbox, but you have the team emoji or colored icon on top of the icon. So you know you are actually in a team inbox. So if I switch to another team inbox, you see it's a different emoji. So that's going to be really useful as wherever you are in the application, you will know by looking at the quick action at the top where you are. In that case, I would archive for all of my teammates from the sales team inbox. If I'm in my inbox, you see, well, in that case, I'll simply archive from my own personal inbox. Another change in the assignment UX is that now assignment menu offer a single click action assigned to yourself. Once you're assigned to a conversation, the action button changed to the close actions. When you close a conversation, you have now the one click option to reopen the conversation. So this, in addition with the archive icon change, will really reduce the confusion. Am I archiving? Am I closing? Am I removing a label or a draft? Now every action is clear. So I think that's really going to help people that did struggle to understand the logic behind some of those actions in Missive. Next one is about the ability to create multiple quotes in a single chat message. So here, if I edit this quote, clearly I want this first sentence to be a quote, but this one should not be a quote. If you had two new line like this after a sentence with that character, this will not be a quote, you see? And I could edit this to add a new quote like this, quote, and here, not a quote. Now, the next one is quite straightforward. We redesigned the team in boxes mailbox icon. So if you look here, and this reflects the fact that the team in boxes is a unified view of all of your different team in boxes, right? So you see here, there's five conversation and it's the sum of my two team in boxes, support and sales. And the icon kind of reflect the fact that there's multiple team in boxes involved. Okay, the next one is one that will reduce the confusion when people watch a mailbox. So in Missive, you have the ability to watch a mailbox. In that case here, it's a label. And when you watch a label, whenever all of the conversation in the label or mark is read by you, the label will be automatically hidden from your sidebar. In that case, accounting is shown because there's one unread conversation in it.
So the addition now is that when there's a label in your sidebar because you watch it, we had this small eye icon plus text to explain you why it's there. And then you can one click stop watching if you don't want to watch it anymore. That should reduce the confusion. Some user were watching label without even knowing and they were confused because they didn't know why sometime a label appeared out of nowhere in their sidebar. Next improvement is about giving you the ability to do shortcuts to edit the styling of your chat message. For instance, I could do I bold italic and URL. And here I select bold, do common B, select italic, do common I, select URL, do command K, and then paste my URL and submit this nice formatted comment. So that's it for us today. I hope you enjoyed this new release and I hope also you enjoyed this new format of changelog video where I'll go through the changes we made and the new features, hopefully for you to have a better grasp of what evolved in Missive and for you and your teammates to be better Missive user. All right, thanks a lot. Have a nice day.